sorry. We've had this conversation before. I'm going quiet. Eating and filming. You got sweat on. It's a meat sweat. <laughs> a meat sweat. It was a crisp. You never heard of a meat sweat. You heard of yeah, a meat sweat. Oh, yeah. yeah, but you're not eating meat. I wish I was eating meat. That's why I'm sweating. <laughs> anyway, hi. Welcome to Dad Chats. Hi everyone. Go hello. Hi everyone. So today's video will be me and Ellie cooking breakfast for Mummy, who is um, currently in bed at the moment. So we're trying to be as quiet as we can, aren't we? She shut the door. Yeah. So we've got to be really quiet. Her favourite thing um, for breakfast is pancakes with bacon. Um, she's obsessed with it, so we'll be cooking pancakes from scratch. So what do we need? Flour? Yeah. Flour first. Flour. Okay. Wait, not yet. Two eggs. Two. Made a batter from scratch, didn't we, Ellie? Yeah. What do we use? Flour. Flour. And two eggs. Two eggs. Whisk it together. Milk. And, and milk. And milk. <laughs> Crispy bacon. Eggs are done. Pancakes done. Tea's done. What else? I want a pancake. We forgot about Ellie's pancake. You want a pancake? Don't tell mummy. Come this way. Got me. Say good morning, mummy. Good morning. Say this is breakfast in bed. So what's this? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh. Put a tea down. Thank you. So what have we done, mummy, for breakfast? Pancake. And jump up here. Jump up here quickly. Jump up. Come on, quickly. <laughs> So Ted is now in the full swing of his I'm exploring the boundaries and I want to just push them and see what happens if I do something I shouldn't do. How old's Ted now? Two. Is he almost three? Nearly three. Three major. Three what? Three major. That's in teenager. Oh, three major. Yeah, three major. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking. <laughs> a three major. You know. A three major. He is. He's a three major. Almost. He's out the terrible twos and almost a three major. So what? What's he been doing? For example, he was in the bath and he weed and he queed. <laughs> queed. <laughs> and he weed in one of his cups that he plays with in the bath, and then he proceeded to pour that cup out of the bath. So Jen decided to tell him off and she looked round and I was rolling on the ground that doesn't laughing. help is that what she said that doesn't help Al she did she did she said if you're not if you're not going to be unhelpful then go out the room if get you out. can't if you can't not laugh get out the room yeah and put the boat back <laughs> yeah exactly so but it was it was hilarious just because his face and he knew he sort of like you know he knew what he was doing as he was pouring out it was hilarious so what we did was we asked all the dads in the dad network whether they have similar Experience it. Yeah. It's when you do that thing where you go. Really naughty, Teddy. Really <laughs> naughty. <laughs> you know when you do that. Let's have a look. So this one says, my daughter stuck her finger up at another child in, in the class. She didn't have a clue what it meant, but he couldn't help but laugh when the teacher told him. I know, I know. So Steve's got one here. Only yesterday, my five-year-old slaps his forehead and goes, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I couldn't help myself but laugh. He doesn't get it from me or my wife. Granny was sitting there and she didn't seem impressed. <laughs> that is funny though. That is funny. Um, shouting the word bleep in John Lewis. That's what Fireman Sam says apparently. <laughs> I've seen that episode. That's funny. from William. And this was a good... Um, well, we've all been here, I think. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll summarise. Um, he was changing his... Uh, child. No, his wife was changing his... his Charles nappy 
Uh, it was a wet nappy. But then the child suddenly did that tensed face. Oh, uh, what, what? Something's about to happen. Something's about to There's happen. There's going to be an explosion. And uh, it must have been five inches long. Of course, I was rolling around in stitches whilst my wife was screaming in absolute horror, begging me to get a nappy bag out. <laughs> it was that, Andrew, you're supposed to be helping. <laughs> Honestly. That would be so funny, though. Oh, I really like, is it Tesco at the moment? Tesco do their fragrance nappy bags. Oh. The nappy sacks, they smell lovely. Not being paid to say this either. It, genuinely, mm. they smell, I'm actually quite, I get nappies out just to smell them. <laughs> and then put them back, but you know they're all nice, they're all neat when yeah. they come out, and then there's like ones that are stuffed back yeah. in. Like Charlie, my wife's going, Jay, yeah? Have you been smelling the nappy sacks again? <laughs> <laughs> yes, babe, sorry. So Nikki says, on a daily basis, his child, four years old, was having a full-blown row with mummy about bedtime. And, uh, and then the, the son says, well, if it's that late, mummy, why don't I take you to bed? <laughs> <laughs> Kids say the funniest thing. But they're so clever as well. Yeah. I think that like is brilliant. And it just shows they, they take note of everything. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Should we come back to some more in a second? Yes. We'll do that. Right, next, uh, we're gonna go for an unboxing. So uh, Brad, Brad Nagel is uh, part of the Dan Network and he's the guy responsible for reviewing and unboxing stuff. So um, what do you think about a selfie mic? <laughs> yeah, here's what Brad thinks. Hey guys, welcome to the Dad Network TV. I'm Brad Nagel. And today we're gonna be unboxing one of this year's most highly anticipated gifts by teenage girls and myself. And as you can see, today I am joined with my sidekick, Batman. Batman's nobody's sidekick. Today, we're gonna to be unboxing the selfie mic. All right, Batman, that's where you put the selfie mic on the table. And that's when you turn it around, Batman. It comes in your standard plastic and cardboard packaging. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Inside you'll find the microphone fixed to the selfie stick with the phone grip, your earpiece and a manual. I sense a teaching moment here, son. Just because the word manual has the word man in it, doesn't mean we need it. Assembly is straightforward. Attach your phone to the grip, connect the cable to your phone and lastly connect your earpiece to the microphone. You're nearly ready to show the world your X Factor material. Next, you'll need to go and download the Star Maker app to your phone, set it up, choose a song, and get ready to be the next pop sensation. A word of caution though, make sure your phone's volume isn't set too high as this can cause loud noises in your ear, as well as terrible feedback. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. You're singing terrible. That's bad feedback. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it, what do you see? Um, you have to put this in your ear. Yeah. And then you have to sing, lock that phone up, and then pull the stick. And I... Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Thanks for watching the Dan Network. Bye bye. 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 Thanks for sticking around for this unboxing. So today on Dad Chat, um, we asked you uh, on Facebook, basically, what have you laughed at which you shouldn't really be laughing at when it comes to your child, if they're being naughty? Um, this one from Peter, it's a corker. I went to pick up Finlay, uh, five years old, up from school when his teacher asked me to stay back so she could have a word with me. Oh, when you get that, you go, uh oh. Uh -oh what's he it's done? like being back at school yourself. Yeah. Uh, after packing away the toys uh, from lunchtime play while she, she was in the shed, he shut the door on the teacher with her inside because he wanted to be the teacher the next day. <laughs> he's trying to bump off the brilliant, teacher. Brilliant. Um, at least he's got logic behind it. I'm fairly good at holding in a smile or laugh. Thankfully, my wife wasn't collecting him that day because when I rang her to tell her, she ended up crying with laughter. Peter, that is brilliant. <laughs> that really is. This is a great one from Ariel. It says, a few days after the sex talk with our nine-year-old uh, and six-and-a-half-year-old son, I'm helping him get ready for bed. He turns to me and says, that means you put your penis in mummy three times. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> That's good. Uh, this is from Matthew. He launched his dummy over his mum's head. It smacked me straight in the face. Wasn't even angry, just impressed. <laughs> <laughs> good arm, son. Good, good shot, arm. good shot. Uh, this is from Chris. Uh, yes, my daughter said loudly she wanted boobies. Uh, she meant 
blueberries. <laughs> we were in Sainsbury's at the time. If you've got any to add to this list, then uh, leave us a comment below because we're looking forward to reading some more hilarious moments where you can't help but laugh. I'm just still looking at them, they're brilliant. <laughs> they are good. Have a good week. <laughs>